What's up, everybody? <clears throat> Excuse me. Welcome to uh, episode number 129 of the Tuesday Night Indie Spotlight. I'm Ben. You might know me better as Piccolo930 on PSN or on Twitter. Here on behalf of Short Paws, www.shortpaws.com is the website. If you uh, like what we do here, subscribe to the channel, uh, leave comments, hit the like button, uh, hit the little bell so you always know when we go live. I like good stuff. So if you never watched... <clears throat> excuse me. Still a little bit under the weather here. But if you never watched the Indie Spotlight before, basically we grab a new uh, smaller title that came out during the week, fire it up for a little while, see what it's all about, see if it's under the radar gem that we should be keeping our eyes on. Now tonight's game, as you can see from the title screen here, is Hollow Knight Void Heart Edition. The newly minted Void Heart Edition, which is available now on PS4 and Xbox One. So Hollow Knight uh, really needs no introduction at this point. This is not a game that we're going to be playing on the spotlight in the hopes that we uh, we shine an additional light on it or you know people understand if, if this is a cool game or not like <laughs> this game has been been praised to the high heavens so um, I'm excited to uh, to finally sit down and get a chance to play it I have not yet fired up Hollow Knight I uh, wanted to give it a whirl on, on Steam when it came out but did not have a chance to so uh, it's my first chance to sit down give it a whirl and, uh, and see what it's all about but if, Heard nothing but amazing things about this game. It's a uh, it's a beautiful looking Metroidvania. I hear it's it's hard as hell as well. Um, lots of secrets to discover. Um, basically, just just sounds like almost the perfect Metroidvania game. So very very excited to get in here, play this game, see what it's all about. Make sure if you're not that you're following at Team Cherry Games on Twitter. Those are the guys that are responsible for developing this game. So uh, as you can hear from the title screen here, beautiful soundtrack. No, that's a huge part of this game as well. So let's say we get down to business here. See what Hollow Knight's all about. Interesting way to start there. Game is uh, just drop dead gorgeous from everything that I've seen. Doesn't look good. Hollow Knight's ready to get down to business. Right off the bat, a little, little, little secret area here. I'm guessing we'll be able to get up there at some point. Love the style of this game. Just uh, looks super cool on the big screen here. Oof. We 
can attack these plants here. Keep my eyes peeled for secrets here, like I, uh, like I mentioned earlier. From what I understand, this game's full of secrets. Try and use my Castlevania experience to guess where some of these secrets might be. Collected. Hold circle to focus soul and heal. Okay. Right on. Okay, so hold circle. Here first. Oh. Watch out for the stalagmites there. I'm not sure where to go. Hmm. What is, is this like an overshield kind of? So I got a couple extra health there. I'll check this area out first. Looks like this is just a self contained area here. Did it again. Gotta watch out for those things. Let's see what our map looks like here. Guess don't have one yet. Like that. I really gotta watch out for these things. It's just down here. I have a feeling there was something down here. Yes, I can't make that jump. Oop, did not mean to do that. Just gotta try and keep all in mind all these areas to, to come back to. Once I presumably earn some abilities that let me tackle these new spaces. Oh no, did not mean to do that. jump back over though if I go back up here. Oh no. Okay. That's what I got. King creator. 
your step across this threshold and obey your laws. Hollow nest. Hm. Alright. Just a, a super cool looking game. I mean, like, the lighting here is really, really cool as well. Dirt Mouth, the Fading Town. Happy place. I'm guessing that's our save point there. Mapping supplies. Okay. Oh. Got any crossroads. Can I go back up here? No. Send. I'm curious if there's anything over here. Stone door with a simple lock. Alright. Keep that in mind for when I find the key. shortage of ways to go here. Let's uh, stay up top here for a minute. See what's in the store. <laughs> no, no. Don't cry, sad man. to be able to cheer him up yet. It's interesting, one of the things you need to take into account early on here is the the impact from Hollow Knight's blade. It actually pushes you back as you attack enemies, so keep that in mind for Especially when you're jumping.
I'll need a wall jump of some sort. much bigger than the other guys have been fighting. Hmm. Okay, I guess I need something that I don't have right now to fight him. And tons of paths in this area right here. feels great early on uh, obviously one of the big things that makes a metroidvania game is it's is its controls so game feels good feels responsive early on here using the d-pad on the dual shock so so feels great I get OCD playing these Metroidvania games, so I want to look at my map, want to see what percentage of the map I've uncovered and all that kind of stuff. I'm gonna guess this is gonna take me back around to where I started. We'll see. Remember, these guys take three hits early on. Jacob, what's up, dude? <clears throat> How you doing, man?
glad to hear it, man. Thanks for uh, stopping by and hanging for a little bit. What is this? I guess let's see what's in here. Interesting. So this is the thing we saw at the beginning of the game here. Alright. So I guess we'll have to return here at some point in the future. Like I'm getting anything from destroying these environmental objects, so it doesn't look like that's something I need to do. My health back here. Alright, so yeah, that's where we started. over this way. Got him. Nice. I was, I was worried there for a minute. Alright. I had to use up all my souls to get my health back. Alright, got one of these things. <laughs> Alright. So maybe those are the things that that, uh, that other guy was sad about. So even early on in the game here, we've come across several mysterious areas here, so 
There's the mine here. There's the egg we saw earlier. There's a number of paths we haven't been able to go down yet. There's lots of, uh... Lots of things to keep in mind for the future here. Nope. Need this thing to come back down. Souls replenished. So, Jacob, uh, Hollow Knight is a a metroidvania game so it's one of those games where you explore around a big you know, big 2d map it's gonna be lots of different paths and ways to go uh, presumably we'll be earning new abilities as we go through this as we uh, hack and slash through enemies uh, other than that don't don't know a whole lot about um, the story of the game yet uh, um, we're kind of descending into this area here. It looks like maybe, maybe there was once a, a civilization down here of some sorts. But don't don't know much about it other than that. It looks like we can't get through here yet. I've actually uh not gotten to the to the dreaming city yet. It's something I will be doing this week though. Spent a lot of time last week in the uh in the Iron Banner, so did not have a lot of time to do some of the other stuff that I need to do in that game. Alright, so it looks like we've gone pretty much where we can go here. We have not gone down here yet. Which we can't go through here yet. Okay. So yeah, all kinds of uh, all kinds of areas here that we cannot yet access. Love that stuff about these Metroidvania games. It just kind of tease you with, with all these different paths and areas they put in front of you. So it takes us back out to this like hub area. Damn. Man. Just taking hits here. It's one of those things, like I said, you gotta you gotta really keep in mind how much you bounce back off these enemies when you attack them. So there it is, huh? It's one of the, one of the guys we've rescued there, so looks like we'll find quite a few of these things. Gotcha. I will, uh, I will keep that in mind. I'll definitely be in the Dreaming City this week, no doubt. Let's, let me do one more quick. 
quick look up here. There, so I think we are ready to go down this area now. Couldn't fight that thing through there. What was through here? The spikes. Yeah. Did, uh, did I go up in there? <clears throat> Can't remember if I went up here or not. Damn. I'm just taking hits here. Jeez. Come on, Hollow Knight. We can do it. You have an Xbox, Jacob. <clears throat> like all these, all these people humming and whistling in, in the in the world of Hollow Knight here. Yes, I would like to purchase a map of the area. Like I said, I have a, an obsession with maps. I an OCD with maps in these games, so... I'm happy to finally have one. Uh, we need a compass as well. Where? Okay, I'm right there where that ant eater looking thing is. <laughs> Alright, interesting. <clears throat> One thing you can do is you can actually uh, aim your attacks in this game. I need to keep that in mind as well. Alright. 
Got the little guy saved. is currency in this world. guess we're in that little area to the right of the anteater second room there all right let's check what's over here Jackpot. Refills my health. Cool. Oh, save point. Nice. So what do these look like on the map? Tough to say. Can't get up there yet. Looks like some type of a, of a wall jump or a double jump will be one of the first things we get our hands on.
Oops. Back around up top. Oops. Yeah, I think that's a uh, good comparison, Jacob. Ori, another uh, just a beautiful Metroidvania game. I actually imagine that uh, what I've heard about the challenge of this game, that it's uh, Ori is probably a really good comparison to Hollow Knight. <coughs> Challenging, beautiful Metroidvania, great soundtrack. Good call on that one. Let's see what's up here. Hmm. What we got here? Some little stag insert geo. Uh, sure. Fast travel point. Nice. Right, cool. So we have. Dirt mouth. So I wonder if I actually curious to head back up here. Let's see if I can get that compass now. <laughs> it's a cool, uh, cool transition screen there. Fastback, that uh, you in the chat there, man. Welcome. Ah, <sighs> Bapanada. this. Definitely want this. Ah, <sighs> Bapanada. Ah, these mark. Okay. Alright, let me get... Definitely want this quill, too. Alright. 
much. Top on our stag here. Alright, there we go. That's much better. Alright, so we're filling out the map now. We can see where we're at on the map. I like it. All right, let's continue on our way. What's up, dude? Just hanging out, playing a little Hollow Knight. This is a uh, super cool game. Be quick on the draw here. Uh, really good so far. I really like this game. Um, you know, Fast made a good uh, good comparison earlier to Ori. I think that's a very very sound comparison. Beautiful, beautiful Metroidvania. Great soundtrack. Uh, tight controls. Very uh, very cool vibe. It's a really really neat game so far. False night. Alright. Oh. I was not expecting to run into a boss up here, but this appears to be our first boss fight. I am running out of real estate here. Get out of here. You gotta wind up on that. I get him. Oh. Getting angry. Oh, I was not expecting, oh shoot, I gotta heal myself. Oh, no. Urgh.
went for the kill shot there. Should have backed off. Damn. Yeah, art style in this game is awesome. Alright. So now that I know I'm fighting a boss there. Give this another whirl. Let's sit here so I can start here next time. Basically the mini version of the guy I'm about to fight again. Attacking. Great. Ah, damn. I gotta remember that he attacks after that. Still not dead. Oh, there he goes. Alright. First boss in the books. City Crest.
Whew. Got a little, uh, a little intense at the end there. Uh, looks like we can maybe put this in here. Oh. Look at that. Check around the top here too before we go. Oh, can't get over there. Okay. okay so we got a door there. this now. Right, who's this guy? Snail shaman. Consumed the vengeful spirit. Spells will deplete soul. Ah. Okay. Let's have a projectile attack now, looks like. Circle for the vengeful spirit. Not much. I like that. <clears throat> Alright, so it seems to get back out of this area. We're gonna have to fight some beast for the shaman. Necessary hits from the snail. my soul power before doing that. It was dumb. Wow. 
Seriously? Man, I just let that dude just destroy me. <laughs> I'm letting this guy do the same thing. shield now. shield now. Got him. Soul catcher. There you go. Slaying your beast, shaman. <laughs> Got him indeed. Not sure I trust this shaman guy. Seems like a shifty fella. That's cool. I like I like this whole sequence with the boss getting the new ability, going fighting that thing. <clears throat> what is this? Well, I've I've already done so. I'm honestly not 100% sure, Coop, what the story is with this game. Um, you know, I just kind of start out in this mysterious area. Some guy up top was mentioning something about a a forgotten kingdom down below here. Um, that's about all I got, though. I don't really know what I'm doing, what my purpose is, or, or any of that kind of stuff. Just kind of exploring this mysterious kingdom at this point. Oh, that's... uh. This is back in this area where this guy was. Okay. So we can actually go back up here and be able to access some of these areas now we can get to before. That projectile is actually going to open up a path up here. Got this guy. And voila. We have opened up a new path. Oh no. Did not mean to do that. So 
we'll uh, briefly take a look at this new area over here and then we'll wrap it up for the evening. Green path. Man, this is this is a beautiful video game. Jumping in pits again. Wow. Okay. Explodes. Okay. Oh. I can already see this guy's gonna be a pain. Man. And there you go, jumping into the goo again. Back to my bench. All right, so we got a brief little glimpse at that second area there. So that is a good place to wrap up the stream, though. We made it to the Shaman's first area, beat our first boss. And we got a good idea of, of what Hollow Knight is all about. So, um, I mean, it goes without saying, if you're a Metroidvania fan, if you like these kind of games, 2D action platformer games, uh, so far this is a must-play game. It's absolutely gorgeous, runs great, feels great, controls very well. The art style is, is obviously great the whole vibe the whole environment the design of this game art direction is awesome the uh, soundtrack is, is very evocative very moody really like that as well you know we've started to scratch the surface with some of the things we can do with the mapping system and with some of the upgrades and the charm system that we can get for our characters we've gotten one new ability so far in the, in the projectile attack so all the all the hallmarks of a great metroidvania game are here and from everything I've heard about this game, you know, it just it just gets better from here. The bosses remain awesome. The uh, you know the upgrades are cool. There's tons of secrets in this game. So very much looking forward to exploring the rest of what Hollow Knight has to offer. But very very favorable first impression here. So make sure you're you're following at Team Cherry Games on Twitter. They're the fine developers of this game. So Hollow Knight Voidheart Edition is available now on PS4 and Xbox One. So if you have not I uh, had a chance to play this game yet. You've been admiring it from afar on Steam or on the Nintendo Switch. You are able to go out there and get it on the PS4 and Xbox One now. I highly recommend it from what I've played so far. Definitely something that should be on your radar if you are a 2D action platforming fan. So that is going to do it for this episode of The Spotlight. We do the Tuesday Night Indie Spotlight every Tuesday, 10 p.m. Eastern, right here on our YouTube channel. So if you like what we do here, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel. Hit the little bell so you always know when we go live. Um, hop into the chat like like Super Cooper and Fastback and, uh, and and Jacob. Love talking to you guys. So thanks to all you guys for stopping by. Always glad to see you guys here. Um, other than that, not sure what we'll be playing next week yet, but stay tuned. We'll have a uh, another fine game on the docket, I'm sure. Uh, we got lots of stuff to stream throughout the week. Uh, we'll have some Destiny on here, probably some more Tomb Raider, um, and a few other surprises for you probably as well. So be on the lookout for that. Uh, until then, a Tower Talk will be on Thursday as well, so make sure you, you come back and, and talk to us then if you are a Destiny fan. Other than that, that is going to do it for this evening. Thanks again to everybody. We'll see you guys later this week. Have a good night.